Welcome. In this e-learning module, I shall demonstrate and make you understand how to add properties and parameters to all the parts and assemblies of the press tool in Katya v5. Let me demonstrate. Right click on the press tool assembly and pick properties. Observe we have press tool assembly as the part number. The press tool assembly is not a number. It is a name. We need to enter the part number here. It's self-explanatory. A part number is basically a number. In an engineering context, the part number is an identification of the part or an assembly. Usually, it consists of numbers and alphabets. Sometimes it also consists of special characters. Also note, every company will have its own way of numbering the parts and assemblies. In my company also we have a system. The part number we have for this press tool is M, T, L, hyphen, T, D, hyphen, A, hyphen, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1. Now let's enter the nomenclature. The nomenclature is the name of the part, or the assembly. This is a blanking die. Let's type blanking die. In a company, there could be blanking dies for many components. Let's add the component part number for which this blanking die is designed. Change the source to made. We are manufacturing this blanking die. Click on define other properties. Add a new parameter type of mass. Edit the name as mass with small characters. Click on apply, and then OK. Observe the part number got updated in the product structure. Now let's update the properties and parameters of die assembly. Right click on the die assembly and pick properties. Enter the same part number we had provided for the blanking die, with a suffix underscore zero, one. Enter the nomenclature as die assembly. Add a new parameter type of mass. Edit the name as mass with small characters. Click on apply, and then OK. Observe the part number got updated in the product structure. Now let's update the properties and parameters of punch assembly. Right click on the punch assembly and pick properties. Enter the same part number we had provided for the blanking die with a suffix underscore zero, two. Enter the nomenclature as punch assembly. It's industry standard to enter nomenclature in capital letters. Add a new parameter type of mass. Edit the name as mass with small characters. Click on apply, and then OK. Observe the part number got updated in the product structure. Now let's update the properties and parameters of a few parts. Right click on the die assembly and open it in the new window. Right click on the die plate and open it in the new window. Right click on the die and pick properties. Enter the same part number we had provided for the blanking die, with a suffix underscore zero. 4. Enter the nomenclature as die plate. Add a new parameter type of mass. Edit the name as mass with small characters. Click on apply, and then OK. Observe the part number got updated in the product structure. Save and close the die plate. Right click on the strip guide plate back and open it in the new window. Right click on the strip guide plate back and pick properties. Enter the same part number we had provided for the blanking die, with a suffix underscore zero, five. 
Enter the nomenclature as strip guide plate hyphen rear. Add a new parameter type of mass. Edit the name as mass with small characters. Click on apply, and then OK. Observe the part number got updated in the product structure. Save and close the strip guide plate rear. Observe, die plate, and strip guide plate back is still seen on the product structure. Let's update this also. Right click on the die plate and pick properties. Observe the instance name is still die plate. Let's update this. Copy the part number. Paste the part number into the instance name. Leave the dot one as is. Apply and observe the instance name got updated in the product structure. Now, let's update the instance name of the strip guide plate back. Right click on the strip guide plate back and pick properties. Observe the instance name is still a strip guide plate back. Let's update this. Copy the part number. Paste the part number into the instance name. Leave the dot one as is. Apply and observe the instance name got updated in the product structure. Now let's update the properties and parameters of a standard part. Right click on the washer and pick properties. We can't provide the part number as the washer is a standard part. The part number for the washer is provided by the washer manufacturer. Enter the nomenclature as washer. Change the source to bot. Update the part number also to the washer. Right click on the washer and open it in the new window. Double click on the ID of the washer. Observe the washer is for M10. Right click on the washer and pick properties. Enter the part number as washer for M10 screw. Add a new parameter type of mass. Edit the name as a mass with small characters. Click on Apply, and then OK. Observe the part number got updated in the product structure. Save and close the washer for M10 screw. Now, let's update the instance name of washer for M10 screw. Right click on the washer for M10 screw and pick Properties. Observe the instance name is still washer. Let's update this. Copy the part number. Paste the part number into the instance name. Leave the dot one as is. Apply and observe the instance name got updated in the product structure. Now, let's update the second instance name of washer for M10 screw. Right click on the washer for M10 screw and pick properties. Observe the instance name is still washer. Let's update this. Copy the part number. Paste the part number into the instance name. Leave the dot to as is. Apply and observe the instance name got updated in the product structure. We haven't updated the source for the die plate and the strip guide plate rear. Let's update them. Right click on the die plate and pick properties. Update the source to made. Right click on the strip guide plate rear and pick properties. Update the source to made. We will not update the strip layout's properties and parameters, as the strip layout is not part of the press tool. The strip layout is raw material, now let's update the properties and parameters of a catalog part. Right click on the M10 by 55 screw and pick properties. Leave the part number as is. Change the source to bot.
Enter the nomenclature as hexagon socket head cap screw M10 by 55 L. Add a new parameter type of mass. Edit the name as mass with small characters. Click on apply, and then OK. Observe the part number got updated in the product structure. Save and close the washer for M10 screw. Observe the instance names are OK for catalog parts, as we did not update the part number. Repeat the procedure for all the parts of the blanking die. To summarize. Update the part number. Update the nomenclature. Update the source. Update the instance name. Add a mass parameter. With this, we have successfully learned how to add properties and parameters. To all the parts and assemblies of the press tool in Katya V5. That's all in this e-learning module, thanks.